Word is one of the longest running poetry and spoken word nights in the Midlands. We've been going around 15 years. No one can remember exactly when we began, but we're all very glad we did. Begin, that is. When you arrive, you can choose to sign up with the Evenings Compare in the bar. We sign people up from about seven o'clock and the list fills quite fast. Then the night kicks off at eight with two halves of open mic. It's great that we've got very academic poets who will do perfectly constructed sonnets and villanelles and sestinas. And then we'll, the next artist up will be a slam poet doing something very funny. And then we'll have a performance artist doing some link sync music number. And then we'll have uh, a magician. Actually, Tim, our compere, Tim Bomdog, often does magic. The first half finishes with our first booked act. We program someone of nationally emerging or locally established renown. The second half after the interval, um, about another 10 slots and half an hour of our headline, usually of national, international renown. Our compares are drawn from our committee. So you either get me, my colleague and friend Tim Sayers, or AKA Tim Bomdog, or Pam Thompson. We work on rotation like props. When I think of our programming style, I sometimes think of Terminator 2. You know, the scene where the Terminator falls into the molten pit of fire and turns into all the people he's ever been. And they're all very different. Not to say that we are a psychopathic robot monster coming back from the future to kill everyone. Far from it. We're a very nice, friendly, open, not at all cliquey night, very positive. But if I think back on all the people we've booked, even over the last year, they're all just incredibly different. We've had everyone from John Hegley, credited as Comedy's Poet Laureate by The Independent and once called one of the funniest people alive by the late, great Adrian Mitchell, to Penelope Shuttle, Blood Act stalwart, shortlisted for the T.S. Eliot Prize, nominated by the Poetry Book Society. We go from people like post-punk cabaret divas like Selena Godden and Rosie Garland to avant-garde music and visual artist Project Adorno. I mean, the workshops have been wonderful, funded by Awards for All. They have enabled us to deliver an open workshop delivered by the Booked Act, free at the point of access, every month on the afternoon of the show. Uh, and they've been attended by upwards of, of 10 people, more often than not, closer to 25. At that point, it's not really a workshop, is it? It's a show. Uh, and the work that's come out of them has been phenomenal. People have, have written all sorts of stuff that they've gone and performed at that, that evening's event. They've, I've heard people perform elsewhere, or I've sometimes even seen in print. So they've been a great success, and they've been a chance for people to come together, not just to improve their literary skills and, and use of language and poetic skills, but also to make friends, uh, become more socially connected, uh, just have a nice time. The funding has also enabled us to work with four other community groups across the city and county, delivering six sessions to them apiece, leading to a, a performance at Word throughout the year. We've been working with the Bradgate Writers that are performing, I think, in a couple of months' time. We've worked with the amazing Ping and uh, six sessions that led to a, a fantastic performance late last year that was also headlined by Bobber, pretending to be Santa. So we've worked with Lalu, the Looker Lady Ukuleles, uh, with Melo Baku. She's been facilitating sessions that will lead to a short performance sometime in the spring. The Lalu workshops that I've been facilitating, which is Looker Lady Ukulele, are with um, women. Uh, it's women only. Um, it's, it's very, it's for well-being and it's sort of a, a welcome to everyone, it's a community. Um, and um, we get together. Uh, Around ukuleles, they, ukuleles are present, but we don't, not everybody plays them. Some people uh, play percussion, some people join in with songwriting, some people are singing. Um, so it really depends, but we have ukuleles uh, that we play. And um, I've, sort of, I've been facilitating that um, on and off for about a year. And um, we have written about four songs together. Um, composed the lyrics and one of the songs actually we've managed to kind of get into Gujarati so we perform it in Gujarati and we will be performing that at one of the upcoming word um, events as well. I think that what draws me um, as a local artist to come to word and to perform at word is 
um, knowing that you've got a sort of dedicated audience who are going to really appreciate what you're doing. Um, I think perhaps the, pa the fact that a lot of them will get up and perform as well as listen means that they're kind of, lots of people are quite well versed with, with poetry and with spoken word themselves, so you're kind of sharing among peers to an extent. And also I think, you know, if you have new material, it's quite nice and relaxed to be able to come and bring that as well. I guess, I guess as an audience member, I definitely, when I look around or see who gets up, there's a sense that people are doing it for, for many different reasons. So some may be more um, trying to process their work. Um, some may have finished their work and they just want to perform it. And some of people are sharing it and some are being more kind of cathartic with it. And they're kind of... Uh, learning about themselves and there's something in standing up and letting people know um, where they are at through expressive, you know, through the arts, through what they write. And um, I guess there's also quite an acceptance as well. So you will have people coming up who may have some issues and they just want to talk about their issues. And it is, broadly speaking, it's a poem, but also it's an expression of how they are feeling. And they are doing that to a really supportive, um, audience, you know, the room is full of supportive people, so that's something that's quite special about Word. People do sort of know each other and they build up a knowledge of each other as well and get to connect, so that's a massive part of it. We definitely see ourselves as being a democratic space and that's something we actively try and cultivate. At the end of the first half, there, the book tax slot there is, is an opportunity for someone locally or nationally who is emerging to come forward and be booked. I couldn't believe how how supportive the audience were. I mean, a lot of people are performers and they know how it feels to be on stage. And if you're there shaking, rattling, everyone's been doing it the first time. And um, yeah, everyone's really supportive at Word. So I'd recommend it to anyone. It makes me feel a lot better to have people hear what I've written, especially when I'm first starting. It just felt great. Well, I wrote a poem attacking a local councillor who's into homeopathy. And, and Lydia Towsy gave me Poem of the Month for May. And uh, yeah. It, felt great to be able to share that on my Facebook page and stuff and make me feel like I was you know being recognized for well it's just a hobby really but yeah I'm just, I call myself poet man now and I'm doing a our show in February Dave's comedy festival if that goes well I'd want to do something in Edinburgh festival maybe next year yeah if I see something that surprises me or that I like in a sort of cheating thieving sort of way I think I might be able to use a similar technique you know not to just steal their words because that's sacred but if I see someone like I saw Mike who's been a regular here for a long time puppeteering a trowel and doing a silly voice and I just, I've never seen anything like that before and I you know so it's something that I could use and when you see especially the headline acts doing amazing stuff you just think oh that's that's what I should have done with one of my poems and you can rewrite something you've done and you know just yeah you're seeing people expressing themselves and you want to be able to express yourself better and it's a really good experience to see other people performing and learn from them. We've gone from people like Steve Carroll, the former coordinator of Apples and Snakes, who set word up about 15 years ago, and is a fine poet still practicing today and doing amazing things. At the same time, an artist like John Berkovich, who is continuing to have a fantastic career now and was in, so involved with us in the early days and, and fed into its development. We've had poets like Roy Marshall, who started out on the open mic, won a commission with us around St George's Day a few, quite a few years ago now. And he's, I mean, he's subsequently been published by Shoestring Press. He's got an amazing first collection out with them. We've had people like Nathan Lunt, who came on Leicester one night for a jolly from wherever he was studying at university in the country elsewhere, and was so impressed by what he saw that he actually switched to universities. And then present day, right up to now, an artist like Shruti Chohan, we booked her a year or so ago as our emerging artist headline. And just last year she was touring with me and Jean Bintabree's MBA. Word has had such a rich history, but now is such an exciting time for us. We're looking to expand our activity, deliver more workshops, get involved with more festivals, deliver more standalone events and collaborate even more than we have done in the past. So reaching out to other nights and organisations and, um, and just building, building as, as many new words as we can. Mm -hmm.